And action! Shmoo! Shmoo! I play a boy called Bruno who's eight years old, the same as Shmoo. And um, I make a really strong friendship when we move to the countryside because my dad's just got a new job. The first time I saw Asa, who is playing Bruno, um, was when he ran onto the set for the opening scene of the film, running through the cafes of Berlin with his three best friends for life. And he's a very striking little boy. He's got very piercing eyes, uh, but he's very focused on what he's doing as well. I think the, the key to Bruno is that the audience has to really care about him. You know, you have to be invested in his fate. And from, from what I've seen of his performance so far, I think they really will be. I think he's, he's somebody that you're going to care about. He's got a fantastic face and he's, he's just very, um, his expressions are incredible. And you just knew that, you know, with a bit, bit of coaching, he's, he's going to get there with the words and the, and the delivery. But he just had that magical look. He's called Mark and yeah. um, I reckon he's a really nice director. I work well with him. He's done about a few films. I am so full. Jack who possessed a real stillness um, and a sort of solemn, a sort of a sad quality about him, um, but at the same time, uh, as I said, an, an, inner, an inner strength. This is me, who um. is small, and as Asa said, I'm also eight years old. I don't have much of the happy life that Bruno has. I have to go back now. Really? <sighs> it was nice to meet you. Shmoo. And you, Bruno. I knew a bit about the Holocaust and about... Yeah, I had to learn about that a bit from books. Yeah. I knew a few things, but not as much as I do now. Both of Asa and of Jack, I, I don't think they're of this earth. I think they're divine little creatures. I mean, just look at the, their eyes. In each scene, I watch the monitor, it's the dueling of the eyes. They've both got these sort of gaping celestial holes in their faces. You know, and 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 uh, and, uh, and uh, it's effortless. It's uh, it's effortless with them, and you just tell him once, and he adjusts so easily. And and uh, and um, you know, he takes a lot of cues from us, as Amber does as well. Uh, but I think it's it's um, as well. I think there's so much to be learned from working with children. You're not a doctor. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You peel potatoes. I practiced as a doctor before I, before I came here. You couldn't have been much good then if you had to practice. As for Asa, <laughs> it's his movie. I mean, if that if that young boy doesn't turn in a performance, we do not have a film, we do not have a story. Uh, and that young boy, for the age of eight, to have such professionalism. Um, and, and under that pressure, I mean, this is what, a, a three-month shoot? He's in 120 out of 140 scenes. I really take my hat off to that kid. He's very, very special. It's been a new experience for me. I've, I've worked, never worked with children this young before. And um, having to do what my character has to do with them is, is not by any means sort of easy or, or um, pleasurable. Are you eating? Have you been stealing food? Answer me. It was okay in sort of like the rehearsals because he didn't shout. He didn't actually shout. He was just talking a bit loud, uh, talking a bit loud when he was meant to shout on the takes. But when it did actually get to the takes, it oh, it was quite scary. Have you been eating? Have you been stealing food? Answer me! No, sir. He gave it to me. When the first day we were down at the fence location was the first day we saw Shmuel. Well, I saw Shmuel. I hadn't been to any of the fittings or anything. And, you know, you have to go... Well, I found, like, I think quite a few people on the you are You have to go away and just have a cup of coffee because it is... It is very, very upsetting uh, to see an eight-year-old with his head shaved behind barbed wire. What is hard about it is you just can't understand how it occurred. 
um, and even though you've done all this research, you've read all the books, you still just think, well, how did somebody not say, no, I can't partake in this, I can't involve myself in this? Ich bin ein alten Bett, doch verbringt bei Strahlen.